and I want to talk to you about why this is so important. Eight months ago, I stood in this chamber to speak about my bill to expand the rights of sexual assault and sexual harassment survivors to seek justice. I wrote a bill that is now law after reading the haunting stories of the thousands of women from a company called Sterling Incorporated, the parent company of K and Jared Jewelers. Each story was more disturbing than the one before it. Managers demanding sexual acts in exchange for employment benefits. Company events where women were expected to undress publicly. In one story, a former employee attended an overnight meeting where she woke up with her underwear pushed to her ankles and her manager raping her. And all of this stayed quiet and secret for years, all because of a few words that are hidden away in legal language, filed alongside other forms, and filled out as part of employment paperwork. The women at Sterling Incorporated were silenced by forced arbitration clauses that prevented them from seeking justice in a court of law. But we know that these aren't the first nightmare stories that we've heard, and they won't be the last. For way too long, this sinister culture of silence has protected predators and has shamed survivors. But as the saying goes, sunshine is the best disinfectant. And the only way to dismantle this culture of silence is to let the voices and the stories of the survivors be heard, because those stories are powerful. Survivor stories launched the Me Too movement. Survivor story inspired my bill to end forced arbitration in today's bill. And it will be those stories that will continue to bring change. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand on the right side of history and support the Speak Out Act. 